When you mentally prepare yourself for something and they tell you there's no drops, you mentally prepare yourself for those people that are not thrill seekers. You ruined that for me. You totally ruined that for me. All right, well, here we go. <laughs> Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hi, I'm Bello Kevy. If you are not already subscribed, please do so because that would help me out a lot. So for this week's video, I am here at Bush Gardens for my last theme park vlog. Now, I know that sounds a little extreme to say because I am just going to be gone for a week. I'm headed to Puerto Rico to, you know, shoot some vlogs over there and do something a little different. Now, here to help me with this week's vlog is Tony. Tony, where are you? I'm here. Hi, guys. <laughs> okay, so today we're just going to head to Bush Gardens, have some fun. He definitely wants to try uh, this cafe that they have here. So uh, with all of that said, let's head inside the park and live our most magical life. So we made it into Bush Gardens. Now, uh, if you have an annual pass for Bush Gardens, depending on the tier you are, you do get to bring <coughs> one guest for free. So I have the silver pass, which allows me one guest for free. So uh, I'm going to kind of throughout this video tell you reasons why you should come to Bush Gardens I feel like it is one of the like most slept on parks because it is not in the Orlando area now this is all the way out in Tampa and it's kind of in like a little bit of a sketchy area but I think there are a lot of hidden gems here and we're gonna talk about all of that today so let's do this Friends, one of the greatest things that also Bush Gardens Tampa has to offer is that you get to interact with both wildlife and human life <laughs> here at the parks. So you get to see roller coaster rides, people having fun, but also get to interact with your wildlife. I remember coming into the parks early when I was here in the morning when I used to work and just go to the gorillas and take a look at them. I love them so much. Speaking of wildlife, here go some cheetahs located right next to Cheetah Hunt. So very, very fitting. Honestly, so cool that they do this. It's just like SeaWorld, you can view animals as you do coaster. So it's really fun. All right, friends. So uh, Tony agreed to actually get on Cheetah Hunt. So I'm very surprised. So we're going to put my stuff in the locker. I did bring the GoPro today and I have the wrist mount for it. So I think I can actually get footage on Cheetah Hunt. Now this is my first time using it, so I don't know if they're gonna let me through with it, but we're definitely going to try. So are you excited to ride Cheetah I am Hunt? excited. Okay, let's head inside. Guys, Tony's looking a little nervous. Are you nervous? Uh, listen, I didn't I didn't know that it had such high peaks. Like, it goes straight up and fast. Very fast. Let's see, hopefully he actually gets on the ride. So we accidentally got on the fast pass line but the lady downstairs never asked us for our fast pass ticket. So when we got to the front, she was like, oh, where's your fast pass? And I was like, huh? And then she just let us on. So uh, shout out to that worker there. I don't want to say her name because I don't want to get her in trouble. But, We're not uh, doing her job. Yeah, oh, whoops. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> All 
right guys, we just got off of Cheetah Hunt. I just watched the footage. I definitely got it. I'm so excited to now be able to uh, do on-ride filming for you guys. But I think uh, he is really upset with me because I didn't tell him that it went upside down. So I think we might be closing the video here. <laughs> How mad it's, are you? You have to, when you mentally prepare yourself for something and they tell you there's no drops, you mentally prepare yourself for those people that are not thrill seekers. You ruined that for me. You totally ruined that for me. All right, well, here we go. Okay, so uh, Tony is a little upset, so the only way to fix that is by grabbing a little libation, right? It's the only way. <laughs> I honestly, in all honesty, I really didn't remember that Cheetah Hunt went upside down, so that's definitely my bad, but you can't say you didn't have fun. You knew it. I it swear, was, I swear. It was really, your moment to say I'm gonna get you no yeah no I'm not vicious I'm not vicious like that over here we have a few animals and I think that's what's awesome about bush gardens so if you're someone like Tony who doesn't like the coasters you can still have a good time here because you can check out the animals grab yourself a little libation today we got some uh, I want to say gazelles if I'm wrong please correct me uh, zebra uh, ostrich and a giraffe and they're just all coexisting, which is very beautiful. I love that for them. Okay, guys, we got our beer. I think that might have uh, smoothed things over now. Yeah. How are you feeling now, now after you've gotten your beer? Are you okay now? Yeah, I feel good. Guys, I apologize for the uh, <laughs> attitude earlier. It's my bad. I should have known better. Not to uh, trust me? Yeah. <laughs> Again, I really didn't know that one upside down. I would never, I would, I would hate to ruin someone's coaster experience by tricking them into getting it onto a ride. I think that's probably the shadiest thing you can do, especially yeah. like if someone's afraid. I honestly didn't think that it went upside down, but um, here we are. So uh, I apologize that's for right. that. I, I get over things <laughs> quick. So we are in the Pantopia area and Tony has decided to do another coaster, which is the Scorpion and it does go upside down so i'm pretty shocked that he actually wants to do it are you gonna chicken out halfway through the line i won't um it actually looks pretty low for me so yeah so i'll show you guys a clip of what it looks like right now and then we'll get some onboard footage So we just got off the Scorpion. Tony, you did so good. I am so proud of you. You got on two coasters and he, he's terrified of coasters. So this is a big deal. Thank you. How do you feel after adding that? Actually guys, uh, it's a little queasy. My legs are shaking. Uh, <laughs> but I will say, if you are a uh, hesitant about roller coasters, this is a good starter. Right. Sure. So this yeah. coaster does go upside down, but the uh, upside down like inversion thing is so so minute that you don't even feel it so this is a great like entry level upside down coaster if you want to uh, start off so it's a warm-up yeah it's definitely a warm-up so check it out it's here in the pantopia area it is the scorpion so uh definitely check it out check it out don't sleep on it <laughs> so right now we are headed back to the entrance area because uh tony wants to catch one of the uh shows that were happening there i think that show just started coming back so I haven't seen any of the shows here at Bush Garden, so I'm looking forward to this. And Tony did get on a few coasters, so I think uh, we owe it to him to, you know, do this for him. So, uh, what is the show that we're going to go see? Uh, um, I think it's called uh, Burn the Ice or Kill the Ice. Something, it's an ice Something ice, show. yes, yes. <laughs> and there's AC. Woo. Which we really need. It is so hot today. So, let's head over there now. Okay, so here we are at the Moroccan Theater. It is very beautiful. So I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like now, but uh, I so still- So nostalgic for me. Yeah, he used to work here, so that's fun. Is it the same exact show or is it a completely different it's show? It's a different show, yeah. Oh, okay, so you've never seen this? No. 
Nice. And air conditioning. Mmm. Yum. Okay, friends, we just got out of the show. It's called Turn It Up. We finally figured out the name. Um, I tried to film as much as I can, but you guys know with the copyright uh, music strikes that you can get on YouTube, I couldn't use too much of the footage, so I broke it up as best as I could. But um, I'm not a fan of shows. Like, I don't even watch, like, Lion King and Animal Kingdom, but this was super, super good. I would watch that maybe a hundred more times i loved it so much tony what did you think of the show i love the show too guys it's so hard for me to watch things without a critical eye especially when you're a performer but it was a fantastic fabulous fabulous show definitely recommend you guys watch again yeah super good all right so we are now on our way to serengeti cafe because uh tony wants to try the uh, chicken fingers because he's been raving about them since we moved here and we've been coming to bush garden so uh I guess let's go give that a try. Guys, these is the best place to have your chicken strips and your pizza. Um, they do have other cafes here, but this one's the best so far. All right, well, I guess I'll be the judge of that. So here we are at the Serengeti Overlook. Uh, we uh, messed up the name. It's actually yeah. the Serengeti Overlook. So let's head inside and try this delicious food that Tony has been raving about. This better be good. It's, it's gonna be good. <laughs> Guys, something to note here, there is a lot of areas for you to sit around and have beautiful views of Busch Gardens, yes, Tampa for sure. as well too. We're probably gonna put some clips in there so you guys can watch them as well. Yeah, look at him. He's directing the channel now. He's getting way too comfortable here. I don't know. So this place is set up like a quick service bar. They kind of like lay everything out and then you just grab it and bring it to the register. I really enjoy those things because it's super fast moving. I really am not a fan of sit down restaurants because when you come to a theme park, you want to move, move, move. So I really do like that they do this here. Okay, so we did end up getting some french fries and the pizza. I'm very curious to see how that pizza tastes. A lot of the time theme park pizza is not the best. Like, I know Disney doesn't have the best reputation when it comes to pizza, but uh, we intended on getting chicken fingers, but a team member just told us that they no longer serve chicken fingers, and that's why he's looking real sad. Very sad. Because <laughs> they're the best chicken fingers we could have ever had yeah, here. Which was kind of the point of us coming in here, but we will still try this pizza. Very excited, and I am starving. All right, guys, we got our food. It was a little expensive, even with my annual pass, but it's a theme park. We already know what it's gonna be. But here in the uh, Serengeti Overlook, you can actually overlook, let me just adjust that for you guys, the actual Serengeti, which is awesome. So you can see the animals while you dine. Love that, that's so awesome. And Tony has discovered that there is a bar here that serves mac and cheese. So I think now he's, do I want what? Of course, a margarita. <laughs> Okay, so we did end up getting the margarita. I'm gonna show it to you guys right now. Very, very pretty. Are you ready to try this thing? Let's try it. Let's start with this first. Cheers. L'chaim. L'chaim. Ooh. Oh, that is good. That's really good, it's strong. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, she did good, she did good. They're very strong. That's what we want, you know? Yeah, that is really good. 10 out of 10. All right, guys, so we're gonna try these uh, waffle fries. They do have a lot of sauce in them. It's uh, very herbal and spicy. Mm. It's like a, like sauce. So good. All right, friends, so the next thing that we're gonna try is actually our pizza. Now, you can see that the pizza has been sitting out for a little bit, guys. Just look at that over there. But let's just make sure that we get the flavor correct. Yeah, it's a microwave a little pizza. Uh, nothing special? Nothing special. Yeah, that is definitely like an Elio's pizza from the box. Not that great, and for the price, don't recommend it. You can uh, skip out on the pizza. There's a, a lot better things to eat here, so don't do the pizza. <laughs> you told us that this pizza was the best. What happened? You know what? I don't know if they've changed like their ways, but this pizza didn't even wasn't designed this way either. It used to be 
just a regular pie. They probably saw an opportunity a, a to make more money and, and make it less. mass produce the pizza. So but if you guys are charging thirteen ninety nine, guys, it, it should taste like a thirteen ninety nine pizza. Yeah, it just, it just should. Yeah. Okay, if you are coming to the Safari Overlook, make sure you come outside through that door here because you really can overlook the safari. It's really, really nice. You can see the giraffes, zebras, uh, wild buffalo. It's a great opportunity for photo ops, <laughs> engagements, parties, graduations, to take a picture here. Yeah. So nice. Yeah. All right, so we are done at the Serengeti Overlook. It was a lot of fun. The food was not anything to brag about, but the ambiance was very fun. Again, if you guys have the opportunity, definitely check it out. The drink there was pretty good and the overall feel of it was fun. Like you get to look at the animals as you're dining, which is, it's a lot of fun. So definitely check it out. So we are here at Tigris. Now I'm gonna ride this, but Tony is choosing to opt out, which, you know, can't judge him. But he's gonna wait online with me and then he's gonna grab my bag and camera, but I do have the GoPro so I can get some on, uh, on ride footage for you guys. So very excited. This is one of my favorite rides here at Bush Gardens. One of the newer ones that just came out as well. Yeah, fairly new. Fairly new. And, uh, Bush Gardens uh, area. Uh, it does a lot of like, port screw turns, so super scary. Yeah. Friends, so I just got off of Tigris. That ride is my favorite ride here. It is so intense. I literally felt the wind leave my body. I know you heard me screaming in that audio. Tony didn't get on, which I'm not even mad at. That ride is super intense. I enjoyed intense. watching you screaming. That was <laughs> gratifying. <laughs> so if you guys are here in Bush Gardens, check out that ride. It is my absolute favorite. All right, friends. So that is going to wrap up our time here at Bush Gardens. Tony, thank you so much for coming out with me today. Thank you for very, having me. Very, very proud of you. You got on two coasters. I didn't think you would get on any, so I'm very proud of you. I did it, friends. <laughs> thank you for having me again. <laughs> Guys, don't forget summer nights here yes. at Bush Gardens, yes. running all the way to September 6th. You yeah. don't want to miss so it. So check it out every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And no, this is not sponsored by Bush Gardens, but if Bush Gardens, you would need someone to be sponsoring. Uh, I'm available. So <laughs> that is a wrap for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, turn on that bell notification so you get notified whenever I post a brand new video. And you're definitely going to want to do that because in a few days, I am leaving for Puerto Rico and we're going to have a lot of fun, different content Yay! here on the channel. He's a little salty because he is not going. <laughs> <laughs> Just a solo trip. So definitely turn on that bell notification so you can see all those exciting brand new videos. As always, I love you for watching and I can't wait to see you again. And again. Bye. Bye. Hey there, friend. Just because the video's over doesn't mean the magic has to end. Click here or here to keep living your most magical life. And don't forget to subscribe.